Greetings to you. This is Michelle Strickland, and I'm coming to you today with my daily theology lesson. It's my daily meditation that I do for myself. I record it and I release it because maybe somebody else out there can get something out of it. It just so happens that I love God. Choose God this day. The bad guys, they sin. The good guys, we sin. We all sin. It's whom you serve. You don't have to be perfect. No one is. No one's perfect. But if you're going to come to God's team, at least try to be better, you know. You might have issues that you deal with for the rest of your life, but turn them over to God and let him help you with it, you know. Just try to be better, you know. Love yourself, because if you love yourself, if no one else loves you, you'll be okay. And uh, never give up on yourself, you know. If you have yourself, you have everything. If you lost everything you have, if you have yourself, you have everything. You can always rebuild. For those of you just tuning in, I focus out of three major religious texts, the Bible, the Quran, and a, a Buddhist text called The Shape of Su Suffering. Excuse me. It's an introductory Buddhist text called The Shape of Suffering. And it deals with dependent core rising. Without no this, there's no that. And everything that we say and do has an effect on our senses, good or bad. Let's just give you an idea. So um, I try to rotate the, the text at least twice a week, sometimes more, sometimes less depending on how I'm led to meditate. I usually don't read a whole lot out of the Buddhist text because it's, it's very confusing. And this is just the first book. I got another one. I think I have two more that a monastery uh, sent to me, but I, that's, you know, there's, there's, I mean, I'm just at the beginning of this. And I'm reading all these texts word for word. I'm not, I'm not going to add to the words or anything like that. Now, some of the sightings in the Buddhist text, I might not say everything that it cites or it refers to, but but we'll see because it reads kind of different, and I'm not, I'm not used to reading it. So Then Vinradha went to the Blessed One, and on arrival, having bowed down to him, sat at one side. As he was sitting through, he said to the blessed one, A being, Lord, a being, it said, To what extent is one said to be a being? Any desire, passion, delight, or craving for form, Raha. When one is caught up, Sata, there, tied up, Visita, Vista, excuse me, Vista, Vasada, sorry, Vasada, there, okay, tied up Vasada there, one is said to be a being, Sada. Any desire, passion, delight, or craving for feeling, perception, fabrications, consciousness, Radha, when one is caught up there, tied up there, one said to be a, a being. This is very difficult to, you know, even though there's simple words, it's just, it's just, it, the way it reads is different. So I apologize to you for that choppiness, sorry. If one says obsessed with form, that's what one is measured, limited by. Whatever one is measured by, that's how one is classified. If one says obsessed with feeling, if one says obsessed with perception, if one says obsessed with fabrications, if one says obsessed with consciousness that's what one is measured by excuse me that's what one is limited sorry sorry that's what one is measured limited by sorry about that whatever one is measured by that's how one is classified but if one doesn't stay obsessed with form monk that's not what one is measured limited by Whatever one isn't measured by, that's how, that's, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Whatever one isn't measured by, that's not how one is classified. If one doesn't stay obsessed with feeling, if one doesn't stay obsessed with perception, if one doesn't stay obsessed with fabrications, if one doesn't stay obsessed with consciousness, that's not what one is measured limited by. Whatever one isn't measured by, that's not how one is classified. I'm going to stop it right there. It's very confusing. I'm just studying. Just, just remember that. But it's a good, I, I think, 
that these this Buddhist texts are really good, like mind exercise, you know. But anyway.